Hey friends, we are driving around Foreman, North Dakota, trying to find a place to paint. I'm here this week for a teaching residency, and when I'm doing residencies at schools, um, I like to check out the town and see if I can find some interesting buildings or maybe a pretty overlook. Probably not too likely here because this is a very flat part of the world, but um, we're just going to see if I can maybe find an old church or perhaps sketch the school. Something to help me remember my time here. Let's see what we can find. It's January, so we have a lot of snow in this part of the world. Might limit where I can park. Ooh, that's a cool house. Let's see what's down Main Street. I'm also going to be limited by my amount of daylight that I have left today. Um, it's after 4 p.m. already. I don't get out of school until about 4, so the sun will be setting within the next hour. It's a courthouse. North Dakota towns have cool courthouses. I like this White House over here. That might be an option for me. Some interesting shapes. So far I'm not seeing too many old style buildings. I like this spot right here. I can see the courthouse from behind some buildings, but I'm still on the street. See, there's no parking where I'm at. But I am gonna go for this White House that was cute. It's gonna be easy parking in front of that. That's what I'm doing. Here I am, drawing in my car, listening to Glambilly. Only Highway's the first song I ever learned on bass guitar. Anybody want to jam it with me? Okay, let's turn down the radio. Um, so I am sketching in my car. I'm here this week for artists in residence, and I am teaching fourth grade. Preschool through fourth grade is my age range that I have this week. Today it's Monday. I'm. Um, it's about 5:30 p.m. I got out of the school around four. It was my first day there. I'll be here this whole week. And then I'll be back in Jamestown again for a week. And then I'll go to Witcherwood, North Dakota for an artist residency. So I'm on the road a lot in January, going to lots of different schools. And I'm so thankful for that because I love it. So this is a house that I found here in Foreman and um, I don't know if it's occupied right now. It looks kind of vacant. It's right along Main Street, so I guess it's possible that maybe there's a business in here. If any of you from Foreman are watching, oh, please comment. Tell me more about this place. I may need to finish it tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I definitely will be painting it back at my hotel. I'm not going to do my watercolor setup in the car. All right, probably enough footage of me sitting here drawing. You can't even see what I'm drawing. Brrr. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop for the night. So you can see it's starting to get dark out there. Quite a lot darker than when I started this project, so um, we're gonna go ahead and stop for the night and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and finish this piece because I'm really, really liking how it's turning out. Um, I just have the bottom half of the house to complete and then a little tiny bit of watercolor. Since it's a white structure with white snow around it, one might suppose that it would just stay white. But if you look at the picture that I'm seeing right now, I see some orange in the windows, some blues, some yellows. Um, purple shades maybe glowing in the house where the shadows of the sun is setting and a few gray tones obviously 
but grays can be anything you want them to be. So mine will probably have shades of purple, orange, and yellow. Lots of colors can go into this one. So let's finish it tomorrow evening, shall we? So when I'm doing my artist residencies, I'm usually staying at a hotel room. I decided to go across the street to the No Name Bar in Foreman, North Dakota. I'm told I can get food here and I brought my sketchbook, so maybe I can draw. Hey friends, heading back to my sketching spot from yesterday, that awesome white house. One of my fourth graders informed me that someone does live there, which is cool. I hope they don't mind me sketching it. I lucked out, I was able to park in the exact same spot as yesterday, which um, really helps when drawing because my angles are going to be the same. So I'm hoping to finish this up in about 20 minutes or so. And I'm gonna paint it back in my hotel because it's freaking cold out here, you guys. I feel like I say that in every video, but um, I don't know, it's two degrees? No way, it's gotta be colder than two degrees. We had indoor recess today because it was so cold. So it was at least, with the wind chill, it was at least 10 below. because. Um, at 10 below, we have a door recess. But like, I want my heat turned on for a second. So I'm gonna turn this camera off so I can turn my blower on for blast or whatever. Here it is. This is me attempting to stay warm. All right, I am gonna stop here. Boom. That's what I got so far. See, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and paint this. It's a cold in the car. All right, I'm back at the hotel and I got my workstation set up and I went to No Name Bar again and I got me this hamburger, onion and lettuce. And then I've got this salad that I brought and an orange and a breadstick that I got from the school today. And I'm getting ready to do some painting while I watch the Democratic debate. Ended up having to move to a different spot in the room so that I can put my camera up here and do my time lapse. Boop, boop, boop. I'm using my St. Petersburg watercolor palette along with a squirt of indigo from the tube. I believe that's Dick Blick brand. This sketchbook was designed to be used with dry media like colored pencil or pen, but it seems to work fairly well with watercolor, especially since I don't do a lot of wet into wet technique. My pages will crinkle a little bit as I'm working, but I always glue two pages together and that helps to flatten the pages after they're dried. Finished. All done. I am tired. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so another day at school. Night, y'all. Last night I started this sketch of my room at the Foreman Inn and Suites here in Foreman, North Dakota, where I'm staying for my artist in residence at Sargent Central School. So shout out to anybody from there who might be watching. Comment if you are. Um, this is the shot of my room from the bed. 
and I drew it in Micron Pen, which I did not capture a time lapse of because I was in my bed. And then tonight I added the color. So here we are, it's about 10.30 p.m. Surprise, surprise, we're in a blizzard warning for tomorrow. Even though I've truly enjoyed my time here, hoping I can get on the road and get safely back to Jamestown before that storm moves in. So I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Night, y'all. At 6.45 a.m. on Friday morning, I woke up to a text message saying that school had been canceled because of the severe blizzard moving in. So I got on the road to Jamestown before the worst of the weather hit. Then on Saturday afternoon, I received an email from one of my teachers at Sargent Central, and she had seen the sketch of the house that I had completed, the old funeral home. And she said that her grandparents had owned this house at one time. So um, she asked if she could buy the sketch, which isn't really possible since it's part of my sketchbook. But I told her that I'd be able to create an original painting for her um, from this same sketch. So I scanned my sketchbook. I printed out a copy of the original drawing. I blew it up to an 8 by 10 size and I Mod Podged it to a canvas panel. I made the printout in grayscale so that I could paint over it with gouache, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, I used oil pastel around the border of this piece. So that's what you're seeing, the colors above the painting. I used the oil pastel before I Mod Podged the um, printout to the canvas panel. So the printout is actually covering some of that oil pastel work, but that's okay. Um, it's just part of the effect. So right now I'm using gouache to recolor the sketch. And when I'm finished painting, I will spray it with a clear acrylic sealer to help protect that gouache um, and to also help protect it from sunlight to keep the painting from fading over time. I was painting at dusk, so blue is the dominant color in this piece, but I'll come back in with some yellow, red, and orange shades to show the sunset that was reflected in the front windows. This is going to help to create balance in the piece and to add a little bit of warmth to an otherwise cool composition. I was so happy with how this little piece turned out that I decided to recreate a few more of my sketchbook sketches. This one was from my Inktober sketchbook, and then I decided to paint the Jamestown Buffalo during the Art Center's Wine and Cheese fundraiser. I wound up going back to Sargent Central the following Tuesday to make up my snow day. I can't show you any footage from the school, but here are a few of the paintings that the kids worked on during the week. Some fourth graders were inspired by some of my prints that I put up. Second graders use oil pastel techniques to create sharks and narwhals. And a few of my fourth graders used what we learned in class to create these landscapes on their own time. A big thank you to the students and staff at Sargent Central School. I had a great time making art with you all. Cheers!